everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a rather large variety of the Noble Collection. I have tried to break them up into three videos, so I will list the previous two videos down below in the comments, not in the comments, in the description if you guys are interested in viewing that. This video today is going to be a little bit lengthy. I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. So if you guys want to grab yourself tea or coffee, go ahead and do so before we start this video. The very first item is this hand-painted Hogwarts castle atop a cliff and the landscaping surrounds the ground. So this is what this looks like. This is a wooden base down here. It does say Hogwarts in a gold plaque and it has a pretty little design. This piece is extremely heavy, so bear with me while I try to show you guys the detail. So you can see it's on the cliff. It has all of the water. You see the little bridge up there and it's just beautiful. And this does, the castle does pop out, so I'm trying to show you detail without it falling out. You can also see the greenhouse where the second years did the little class. So this is item number one from the Noble Collection, and this is 13 inches in height total. I will list all the items that I'm mentioning in this video as long as pricing in case you guys are interested. I have got to show Hagrid's hut. I just noticed it on here. I have not noticed it before. Okay. Okay, so we have the Great Hall area over here, by the way. And where is it? Where's Hagrid's hut? Here. Here is Hagrid's hut. And you can see the little pumpkins on the grounds. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I have not yet noticed that. I had to show that again. The next item is the Crystal Goblet, which is seven inches wide. And this was used by Harry and Dumbledore when Harry and Dumbledore went on that little quest to receive the locket, which was one of the Horcruxes. The detailing is really pretty. It has like little crystal cubes all the way around it. And it just looks like a little shell. It's very pretty. The next item is the Prophecy Orb, which has bronze plated little snakes on the side and it is five inches in height. The little orb does come off and it's a very pretty like crystally, it's not very transparent, it's like hazy, but it is absolutely stunning. The next item that I have is this Time Turner Special Edition on the back. It has the Time Turner Special Edition Harry Potter. I love the blue and I love that it has the stars on it. So this is really cute. And then on top it says, I mark the hours every one, nor have I yet outturned the sun, which is really cute. And inside it does come with the time turner and the sand does run through it. This is two inches in diameter and the necklace inside is a 30 inch chain. The next item is the Sorcerer's Stone, also known as the Philosopher's Stone. It comes with a little wooden base and then a glass dome. When you take off the dome, the stone actually comes by itself and then, well, it's all sold together, but you twist the stone into these little gold rods so it holds the stone in place. And it is a red glass stone. And this total is six inches He lies! Oh my gosh. My little stone. <gasps> okay, stone is back in place. And then the dome goes over top. And total, this is six inches. No, is it? Is it? Yes, total, this is six inches in height. The next item that we have is Dumbledore's cup. And this is what it looks like. I'll show you guys a little bit closer. So these are not toys. They're not meant to drink out of. They do make sure that you know that in the description. And on the top part of the goblet, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's actually, let me get to it, a little dragon. And he goes all the way throughout the top. And then this part is so stunning. It is really beautiful. You have these little gold hinges here. And then you have this very pretty purple kind of prophecy looking transparent beautifulness. I mean, I don't know how else to describe that. And then Dumbledore's cup total is 11 inches in height. And then that dragon is also at the base. The next item that I have is Slughorn's Hourglass, which is so beautiful. It's probably my favorite. This is what it looks like. Look at that sand, it is so vibrant and green. And then you have the snakes that come through here and they're silver. I believe it is pewter, let me see. I wrote down the detail. So it's crafted in fine pewter, die cast metal. 
with bright green sand. And then along the side here, it is also very bright and green. So here is a closer look. And then it does work. So it is a working hourglass. And this total is 10 inches in height. The next item that I have is the golden egg, which again is another very, very beautiful piece, which I will show you in a second. So it comes with a little black plate with little spongy bits so you can set the egg on here and not damage it. And this is what the golden egg looks like. You guys are kind of getting reflection from my light, but there's a lot of detail. It reminds me of kind of tribal detail. So you have a rocket ship over here on this side and it's a very pretty golden egg. It has red detail on it and a very pretty blue detail. But the top of the egg is just amazing. It is a very stunning owl. The egg does not open, unfortunately, but it is still a very beautiful piece to put on a bookshelf or anywhere, really, a fireplace. It's just super pretty. The next item is the Dobby sculpture, and he is hand-painted. And here's what he looks like. He's so adorable. So he has his book with his sock. So Dobby is a free elf, and what I thought was really cool is you can see the little holes from the actual basilisk fang stabbing it. And my husband's bringing over Dobby to show you guys. <laughs> we have a Dobby collection at this house. That Dobby is not from the Noble Collection, by the way, just in case you're wondering. This Dobby does stand nine inches tall. The next items are magical creatures. I do have four to show you guys today. And the first one, which is probably my favorite, is Buckbeak. And what I really loved about him was the little pumpkins down here by his feet. And then you have Hagrid's hut in the background. This is magical creature number, what is he? Is he number one? No, he's number six. This is magical creature, creature number six, and I do believe they have 10 total. The next magical creature is the Hungarian Horntail, which Harry faced in the Triwizard Tournament. And then in the background is Hogwarts Castle. This is magical creature number four. The next magical creature is Dobby, the house elf, but he is a free elf in this little beautiful picture. And this is magical creature number two. The next magical creature is the Ukrainian Iron Belly, which is magical creature number five. He is the dragon that guards the... The Green God's Bank, which I also have the little replica back here, and he's happily escaping on top of the dragon, on top of the dragon, on top of the bank in the background. I like how in this one he is standing on a bunch of gold coins. The next item is a cute little plush item, and this is the Monster Book of Monsters, and he's just so soft and cute. This is what he looks like. I like how he's little like very fuzzy here on the sides and look at his little eyeballs. You know, if you guys are interested in me doing a plush Harry Potter collection, let me know in the comments down below because I do have quite a few little plushies. The next item is a Hogwarts nine and three quarters wooden sign, which looks like this. It's so beautiful. You can hang it on a wall or above a door, anywhere you would like to in your house. I think it's a really pretty piece. This is 22 inches by eight inches. All right, guys, the last and final item is this wand display for 10 wands. I noticed you can purchase a wand display with 10 wands included, but I decided to go for the one with the wands that are not included. I do have a few wands that I would like to put in this. What's very beautiful about this wand display case is the wood. It's super pretty. And then the background has a kind of like a maroon velvet background. And the base here where the glass is is gold. And you have the little Hogwarts brass. So this is what this looks like. And you can also hang this on a wall. Okay guys, so that was my final wrap of the Noble Collection. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also let me know which item was your favorite in future videos you guys would like to see. Also a little side note, I also have an Instagram account under Mindy Minx, so if you guys would like to follow me on Instagram, I post lots of like little daily updates and stuff like that and what I'm doing. If you guys would like to see that, I will leave that in the description below as well, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye!